Let's find a closed form equation for the geometric series. The geometric series is the sum of a constant value alpha raised to the kth power, where k is an integer that runs between n1 and n2. Now we seek a closed form equation for this summation that is one that does not involve the actual sum itself. This closed form equation is typically more convenient to work with, especially when one of the limits is an infinite value. Let me begin by expanding the series. We would have alpha raised to the first value of k, which is n1. The next one is n1 plus 1. And we keep going until we get close to the upper limit of n2. The value just before that would be n2 minus 1, and then the final value is alpha raised to the n2. Let me call this sum capital S. Now I'd like to form the product of alpha and this sum S. Let me put in the expansion right here. And now I can distribute alpha across this sum we'll see that this has the effect of raising the power in each case by the value 1. Now something interesting happens when we take the original sum and subtract this new version alpha s. We'll notice that almost all of the terms are in fact exactly the same. The only terms that are not the same are the two endpoints. Therefore, we would have alpha n1 minus alpha raised to the n2 plus 1. Next, I'll note that capital S is common to both of these. And let's take 1 minus alpha and drop that underneath. And this gives us our closed form equation. Everything looks pretty good except for the case when alpha is equal to 1. In that case, we would have a divide by 0 error. To deal with this situation, let's go back to the original geometric series definition. I'll say alpha equals 1, and of course 1 raised to the kth power is always 1. We're basically adding up 1 running from n2 or n1 to n2. Therefore, we would have added together n2 minus n1 ones. Uh, we do need to add in one more to get the count correct. To see that, let's take a look at a quick example. Let's consider the case where n1 is 2 and n2 is 5. Our sum would begin at 2 and end up at 5, and we are summing the value 1. So we start with k equals 2, then k equals 3, 4, and k equals 5. The sum is equal to 4. Now if we consider the difference between 5 and 2, of course that's equal to 3, which is 1 shy of the correct answer 4. And that's why we need to add in the 1. Let me consolidate that with our earlier results. And this gives us the finished form. This is the closed form of the geometric series.